Sleep, feel great. Yeah, lose weight, feel great. So go join MyRx for Living, and it's a, there's no charge for joining. And look for this seminar that's coming up in September at MyRx for Living. So, Sara, on the you have a six step reframe for weight loss, and I was reading about that, and I found that to be very fascinating. Would you tell us a little bit about that? Yep, definitely. The way that it actually works is it could be said, we talked a little bit earlier about how we know that certain foods are bad for us. We know all this. We know that we shouldn't eat chocolate. We know we shouldn't eat cakes. But we still do it. So there's, it could be said that there's a part of us that does it for a reason. Now, the way that we explain it in hypnotherapy, we talked a little bit earlier about the subconscious part of our mind. And this is the part of the mind that is in control of our whole bodily functions. So, for example, when we cut ourselves, we don't actually have to tell ourselves to heal. Our subconscious mind takes care of that for us. We don't have to tell ourselves to blink. We don't have to tell our heart to pump blood around our body. Now, this part of the mind, everything that it does for us, it does for a reason. So with our habits, it doesn't know the difference between a good habit or a bad habit. Just anything that we do repeatedly over a period of time, it takes on as a habit. So when we're looking at things like our emotions and overeating, it could be said that there's a part of us in our subconscious mind that is doing it for a reason. And that reason is always down to our emotions. So it might be trying to give us stress relief. It might be trying to make us feel happy. But it's definitely doing it for a reason. I mean, in some cases, it's trying to give us the love that we need in our life. So whatever it is, that's what our subconscious mind will give us. And it'll give us that in the form of food. Right. And, and I noticed here it said something about answering the question why you are doing this even though logically it might not seem like it's good for us our subconscious mind is actually trying to do something good for us by giving us this food it is otherwise if we were to it's the same with smoking as well and any habit that we have we know it's bad for us i mean gosh we know that it can even kill us that's how bad it is we know that if we continue to to overeat or we continue to smoke that it has massive effects on our health, but we still do it. So the, the reason, the underlying reason, has to be bigger to outweigh all those causes of actually death or illness. And the reason is always emotional. So giving us that love has a stronger meaning to us than those other causes, those other effects on the body. And that's what the subconscious mind is trying to do. It's trying to help you feel better. And we need to understand that we cannot feed an emotion with food. So using this six-step reframe, it's a really, really powerful technique. And it will really help people to undercover the reasons why we do what we do. So what emotion is it that we're trying to feed? Yeah, and so um, one of the things that you do is um, identifying that positive intention that, yes. that our subconscious mind is trying to protect us from. From, and then um, helping find alternatives that satisfy that positive attention. And what's yeah. that? Yes. Okay, well, to give you an example, a lady that I worked with last week, um, when we did this technique with her, and we took her back using hypnosis to find out what the positive intention was, and it turned out that she didn't have a good relationship with her dad, and the positive intention, she was trying to get love. So when she was younger, um, she said she used to sit in the settee with her dad, and they used to have, they used to share some crisps and some ice cream, and it was kind of a bonding session for them. And she said she remembers those memories really fondly, but it always used to evolve food. So she was given a treat, and she's associated getting that love from her dad with food. And now she's no longer really in contact with her dad that much. So whenever she needs to feel that love that she's not getting from him, she eats the food that they used to eat together. So she's made that connection. And then what she needs to do, instead of using the food to get the love, she said that she needs to get in touch with her dad again and build her relationship up with him. 
Right, so it gives you a, a full plan and, and for uncovering these things. And this is all done with hypnotherapy, correct? Yes. A lot of it. More than mm -hmm. the NLP? Yes, NLP is done more on a conscious level. Um, we can do the hypnotherapy and you can go into a nice light trans state and actually access your subconscious mind and we can, we can talk to the clients and ask them questions to try and find the reason behind it and that's absolutely fine, we can do that as well.